Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to animate a hug or an embrace between two characters. Um, so you've got the, obviously you've got that layering of the arms between the two. Um, I, I believe it's quite simply done. I haven't actually done it myself yet, but I'm going to, I'm going to show you how I imagine you do it. And I think it's the right way to do it using reference layers and things. But yeah, I've just downloaded a, um, just to save time, a rig from this channel. I'll show you now on the screen. It's a channel called Right Side Studio. They've got a free rig to download on the link here. And what I've done is I've just um, I've just kind of tweaked the model so they're slightly different uh, to each other. Kind of change the head shape and things by like going into the vector layers and just tweaking a few little um, points here and there. And obviously adding the mustache to this guy. And um, yeah, just changing the colors basically. So each character has its own bone folder as you can see here this is for the confusingly this one's for the one on the right um, these bones here uh, don't ask me why it's just the way the rig been, has been set up with the bones on that side of the character so yeah you, the rig is obviously I don't want I'm not here to showcase the rig because obviously that's that guy's channel uh, that person's channel to show that but these are great rigs if you want to just you know get a rig and have a play with the with a rig like this, it's got all the mouth shapes and things, and happy and sad, hand shapes, and all that kind of cool stuff. So, let's start. I want to just get straight into it, otherwise, it could be a, um, a longer video than it needs to be. So, I'm just going to start by posing the characters on frame one. I need to have them looking at each other. Um, I'll just get the like this guy's kind of annoyed. He's the, let's get the angry eyes. He's confused. Um, and then we'll just get this guy's mouth. Yeah, just a couple of mates that I just don't want to really hug each other. But again, they're going to be amazing to hug each other for this for this video. Okay. Um, so let's go to frame. Let's just say twenty four. We're animating here. It needs to be. I'm gonna go on step for now. Do I go step? Hmm. Let's just do, this is, this is do linear. One, two. Um, okay, so I'm currently controlling this rig here on the right. Let's just get him posed into a hug kind of pose, I guess. Um, Maybe a little lean. I'm not sure how good these rigs are yet. I haven't really had a prop play with them, but I'm sure they'll be good enough for what we need. Um, this looks like a really awkward, an awkward hug. <laughs> um, we can maybe do some squash, squash and stretch on this. I don't know. But let's just do it like this. Okay. So you're gonna. Might even lean towards him a bit like this. Yeah, we can do that. And then midway through, let's get the arms kind of just like coming up. I know there's no bone on the hands for hand kind of um, direction, but that's fine. I think it's because the hands might be part of. Anyway, it doesn't matter, it's not important. I'm, uh, I'm going on now. Okay. So you're going to reach over. Pull, go for the hug and then pull him in for the hug like this just pull him in to here maybe oh there is actually going to the hands I think I don't know what they are. pull him in um, and then let's just we can actually animate this as well on the Kind of fly, so I'm go just there. Put him up there. He's getting, he's kind of, kind of get held on his shoulders. He's like, well, "What are you doing?" I'm just hitting Control F to add keyframes to all the bones because I don't have it set up that it automatically does it, which you can actually set up here. You can click on um, Auto Freeze Keys here, and that will always kind of. Add um, keyframes to all the bones. 
is his opponent back to here. Let's just do that. We'll get this guy down around here as well. He's kind of going like this. That. And he used to be kind of held off because he didn't start to pull him until here. So let's paste that there. If we can move. Back to this rig, and then let's just all freeze them as well. We need to all freeze all of these, really. You know what we're doing. We're just gonna pull them in. Pull them in for a hug. This might be a bit dodgy animation, but I just want to kind of show you how the layering would, would work if we were to do this kind of hug thing because it is handy to know how to kind of use reference layers um, yeah I think it's just a handy little tool to have there you go so we just pull them in like so you might even I think this guy needs to kind of maybe pull back on him he's kind of almost fighting it a little bit uh, as you pull him this way now He's gonna pull this way a little bit. Get down, down. Mm -hmm. Like to about here, maybe. Freeze end frames. Let's go back to this character here. Just quickly choose this rig. And then add a keyframe and then add another one to here. And it motion stops. He's pulling him this way now. Bit of a tug on the wall going here. Between two friends that are reluctant to hug each other, but they're doing it because for the purpose of this tutorial. <laughs> okay, so he's pulled into there. And then maybe we go back to the middle one last time, just so they kind of meet in the middle now. Let's bring this arm this way, and this arm here. And then let's just go here and then add a keyframe to here and then we'll pull him to the middle here. Just like that. Oh, okay, let's get this arm. Put it there. Let's bring this to here. Great. Maybe should try it on smooth. I don't know. I think we could give it a go on smooth. Maybe let's try. It. Let's try smooth. See what it looks. Select all them. Choose smooth. Uh, it should have some easing on some of these frames, which it does. So what we want is um, uh, basically we want this back arm of the blonde character to be behind the mustache character. So let's just, first of all, let's just choose the, the correct hand shape for this back hand. He's gonna kind of, I don't wanna open, don't we? Like that maybe? Is it gonna be like that? Just gonna... We need this on step, really. Where's that bone? Is it this bone? I think it might be. This needs to be on step. If I, is that the right bone? Let me look. I think this might be the right bone. Let's put this onto step. And let's get rid of all these because I think this is going to be controlling. No. No. Undo, undo that. Undo that. I'm having a bit of a nightmare. So. Maybe I needed to do that during the animation. Just added a keyframe there, you see. 
Um, this needs to be kind of a stack thing. Otherwise, you're just going to cycle through the hand shapes. Doesn't make sense. Can we just maybe we could? What is that arm? It's the duplicate arm, so it'd be this one. Maybe we can just click on it to choose that hand shape to three. Let's try that. Yeah, that works. We can do that. That's better. We're gonna go that, and then when he's over there, we go to like a a four. Four is what four is fine. Let's just do four. We pull them in. Okay. Right now is the time we set up this reference uh, duplicate of this character. So we're gonna go. Um, we're gonna go duplicate layer, no reference layer, maybe reference layer. Reference layer. That's right. Um, one, two, I guess. Just do that, and then in this main one, this one two should be on the front, which it is. This should be in the back, but this should be behind that character. And then the front one, we need to lose the back arm. This is, I know this sounds so confusing, but just trust me. So we need to lose the arm dupe. And on this one, we need everything but the arm dupe to be hidden. And that should go behind, like so. Cool. That has gone behind. My suspicions were correct. Okay, so we got the arm going behind, pulling them in. Now, if there is a better way to do this, guys, honestly, feel free to, 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 to inform me in the comments, but this is the only way I can think of doing it um, right now, so yeah. We're going to do the same with this rig. We're going to create a reference layer, call it, just so we know who's who, moustache to. This is going to go in front of this one. Now this, we want everything but the front arm to be hidden. So we're just going to go Alt and click on the front arm like that, and it should just hide everything but the front arm. I think. Cool. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. The animation is obviously a little bit dodgy because of that, but what we can do is we can we can tweak that. Is a strangling over there? Um. Maybe we, so the arm has got, maybe we can hide everything but, not the arm, but the the arm two, is it arm two, is it that one? We can show everything but that, hide the hand, no, we want the hands to be seen. I'm gonna hide this and this, and now that should mean, maybe not. Maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Take that back. Rewind that. I want to show everything. I want to show all that too. It's just because we've got this dodgy animation here, so maybe we need to tweak this guy's bones. Um, maybe we need to tweak this. Maybe that's what we need to do. So he's not kind of... We need that to go above there, really. But to do that, <laughs> um, let me have a think. It looks, it looks good to that point, and then it's kind of. We can even have, maybe have like it would be quite funny that <laughs> we had an idea. Um, it would be quite funny that he turns his head to like face away, like that. Um, now, why is this bone only showing that? I want to see just that bone. I think to do that, it's, it's down here. That's what it is. It's the red one. Selected bone angle. We, yes, that is what we needed to change earlier. So we can get rid of all of that. 
I believe, and all of that. And then here, I want it to turn the head Oops, quickly. And then we'll have him kind of maybe look um, to the, maybe he keeps looking at him. That could be quite funny. So he stays staring at him. Um, maybe that needs to be faster, so it's not so, yeah. And then we get a little bit of an angry blink going on here now. So, and then what about the mouth? Let's have a look at the mouth lip sync. The mouth can go to to a kind of maybe a yeah, like a, almost like a grimace. Ugh, get off me, kind of thing. Maybe the other character is quite kind of smug with it, <laughs> like he knows he's been annoying. Um, so let's just select that character, select this smile, and then the eyebrows can go. Just like, oh, I think that's quite funny. The eyebrows can stay up. And the mouth, sorry, it can also stay up. Okay. Um, the arms, I don't know why the arms are going to go to there, they need to be over here. Like that. I think I'm on. I'm going to smooth. Smooth, 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 smooth. Just space, space them out a little bit. Um, something's going on at the, at the end there. Uh, okay, brings him here. Just to here. That's fine, let's just make sure that's all set to smooth. Okay, so that's a basic way to make two characters hug. Um, just a, it's just a way I thought it would be done. I guess there might be other ways, I'm not too sure. But um, yeah, that's the only way I could really think of it working really um but yeah if you like the video guys leave a like leave a comment i will reply to them all and subscribe if you want to see more cheers guys catch you in the next one